one of the uh, most important aspects of being a business owner or uh, you know being a CEO or even you know trying to advance yourself in your career is um, you know putting yourself out there taking risks and that comes with getting you know rejected by certain people um, I think it's important for people to understand that taking rejection is you know just part of what comes with trying to get somewhere that's difficult um, you know so the first thing first is you know don't take anything that someone tells you constructively um, personal you know it's not personal probably from them uh, you know and as long as they're giving you actual feedback you can grow from I think that it's important to just take it in stride um, even if you have the perfect product you can be pitching the wrong person at the wrong time or the right person at the wrong time um, you may walk into a room somebody's you know wife just left them it's not a good day to sell them you know uh, you know a new uh, oven system for their restaurant um, and the reality is, is that there's just nothing you can do about that so you know um, take into consideration that it's not always your product it's not always your pitch sometimes you just get unlucky um, and at the end of the day everyone deals with rejection you can choose to kind of you know wallow in it but I think that the best thing you can do is take that and use it as a way to at the end of the day be sort of a story of triumph like I got rejected 40 times but then I closed you know Microsoft on a massive deal um, or I got rejected, you know, I was trying to raise money and uh, I went through 99 meetings uh, but the final one closed and we got the terms we wanted. That's the kind of story you want to be able to tell as opposed to, oh, I got, you know, I closed easy sales, uh, I never took any risks and I sort of built a, a medium-sized business. It's, it's all about putting yourself out there and with that comes dealing with rejection.